I'm going to make a video showing you how to make the proper impressions so that you can do it and we can send it and not have any issues. Okay, I have helping me today Dr. Mallon, the famous Dr. Mallon, and we are going to make impressions using the same phone box which you should already have. Open up the box and you have the foam. Now, the foam, when you put your foot on top in just a moment, there's some resistance. Okay, I'm putting my hand on and pushing a bit. There's resistance. Sherry has to do the impression to your feet, but if you take your feet and she's going to drive it into the foam like my finger's about to go in, you'll see when it's driven in, okay, and then you remove it, it leaves an impression. Obviously, if they're too shallow, they're not going to be good. They've got to be made as deep as possible. Okay? So we're going to go over each step so that there's no way it can be messed up. The first step is actually getting into the chair in the right position. It makes a difference. Don't take it lightly. And what we're going to show you here is that Dr. Mallon is seated in the chair like anybody would. Okay, which is not the position we want to do this in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that he is seated far back. We want the hip joint to be at 90 degrees. Therefore, he's seated all the way back. Go ahead and slide forward for me. More. Keep coming forward, keep coming forward, keep coming forward, keep coming forward, keep going, keep going, right about there. Okay. Now, in this position, his back and his leg, or his thigh, pardon me, are now at 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. Now, while he's in this position, if you'll note that his leg, don't move, that his leg is in a bent position, this position is incorrect which is what we want to show you the correction. So, what I want you to do next is bring your foot forward right, right there. Now, when you look at his leg, compared to the knee, this is 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here, like a, like a corner. So now the back, knee, and ankle are all at 90 degrees. That's the position you want it in. You can see the other leg is in the wrong position, which is what the other one was in. This is the position you want it in. Okay? I don't know if she even I have to try stopping it. From the front position, you can see how everything is straight here versus the other side as well. Okay, now in order to make the impressions, you want to make sure that everything stays in this position because we're going to be moving a little bit. You're going to take the foam box, fold it underneath, put it down, and then you're going to raise his leg straight up. You're going to slide the box underneath. Go ahead and put your foot on, but don't press in. Okay? Now, in this position, you have to check from the side to make sure that it's still in 90 degrees at the knee and the ankle. The only thing he did was he raised his knee a little tiny bit because the foam box is raising it up. But in general, you want it straight as possible as you had the position before. So you're going to double check that position. Now, okay, what you're going to do here, let me slide this back as much as possible. From here is, he's going to Relax her chest with her hand on the knee. But before you do that, I want to see what's on the bottom. I want you to see what's on the bottom. You're going to take the foot and you're going to try to press the foot all in at one time. So you're going to take here, usually you want to get the front of the foot. I usually do this and press it in at the same time that you're pressing here. So this is going to drive the heel in and your hand is going to drive the rest of the midfoot in. The toes don't matter, okay? They're going to stay up a little bit. doesn't make any difference because the toes are very unimportant in the orthotic. The orthotic is working from their back. So you want to press here and at the top. 
The other thing is you don't want them too too close to any edges on the foam, or the foam's gonna snap. We gotta move this uh, a little bit, right there. Okay, now you're in the, just the drop bag. Try to get it as close to the middle of the foam as possible. I, I put my shoe up against the box here, and my knee from the opposite leg up against the box here so it won't move when you're making the impression. So my knee is here, and then my foot goes here. You don't push in, you let Sherry push it all in. So it's in one motion, like this. The toes are not all the way down, but the heel and the midfoot are down as much as I could do easily. Then, what you're going to do from this point, okay, the toes are still up a little. The fifth head and the first head have to be pushed down just a little bit. So you press the fifth and the toes themselves, and then the, the first, and then the toes. Obviously, slipped a little bit, that's okay. Then the toes can be pressed down, and you want the impression to be as deep as possible. Okay, not as shallow. Get it pressed in there. When you step in, there's a tendency to snap the foam. And when you, when you press in, you have to understand that the reason you didn't just stand in the box is because the impression I controlled, this is called a semi-weight bearing position. If you stand and put weight in here, the inside arch actually drops down to, uh, 10 millimeters. So we're trying to avoid that drop by just taking the impression in this position. So here's what the impression looks like. You can see how deep it is. Now the purpose of this, so you understand why it was done this way, might help you understand how to do it. Once the laboratory receives this, they pour plaster of Paris into this mold. Once it hardens, which takes about 24 to 48 hours, this material is broken off and only the plaster of Paris impression is what they have. And they take a very fine grade of sandpaper and they just smooth out any imperfections that might be on it and they have an exact impression of your foot. And that is used to make material for the orthotic. Good luck. I hope you don't have any problems, but if you do, give me a call. We can always make a follow-up video.